I'm a time-based artist and a moving image artist. I primarily have worked in film, uh, but I think that also translates into my installation work, which has a lot to do with duration and the relationship between queerness and the temporality. I became really interested in archive um, a couple years ago and digging into the history project in Boston and learning more about the sort of queer spaces that used to exist in the city but are no more and the city really bears no sign um, of, or evidence of these places having ever existed um, and so the idea of what can I do to bring these very ephemeral places and people and liminal experiences uh, back to life um, and kind of re-examine and reimagine those histories. And that started really largely informing the wor my work and the way I move through my work is um, how the landscape doesn't really always bear those evidences and what I can do to manifest them in these new and uh, more imaginary ways. I'm really interested in the sort of liminal spaces where people and French cultures make life uh, and make themselves visible to one another um, and the role that plays in shaping my identity and uh, queer identities in a more general sense. The piece I have up at Pam right now, He Is Quit, um, really does try to look at the space and look at the ecology of the space. I think it'll definitely shape and change over time. I think working within media, you've got you know 24 frames a second and you've got minutes or hours to convince someone that something's interesting, whereas this almost feels like a photograph that evolves over the time. Um, and it's so, it's interesting hearing people talk about the piece or engaging with the piece because um, everyone kind of longs for some form of documentation, uh, like to see what it is leaving these impressions. But I think that's one of the beautiful parts of this piece is that those sort of questions around uh, surveillance are absolutely eliminated. All we have is the impression of transient bodies moving through. Um, you know, they bear a mark there, but they're not, you know, they're authoring the piece, but they're like ungendered, untethered ghosts that we are never going to be certain of what they were. All we have is these tread marks that claim that they were once here. Mm -hmm.